really poor from Manchester United today. We've lost two goals to nil away at the Emirates Stadium. Really disappointing with that, considering Chelsea dropped points earlier in the day against Wolves at home, and Tottenham have been on horrendous form in the Premier League and lost to Southampton away two goals to one. I was hoping that at least a minimum Manchester United could require from this game against Arsenal. If we could at least get a draw out of this game, it would keep us in with a very good chance of getting in the top four. But uh, we have left our top four hopes. We've not even, well, I mean, we really needed to win the game, to be honest. But our top four hopes have been put in doubt now. Major doubt because Arsenal are now above us in the league and have got a much easier run in than Manchester United, which pains me to say. We've got some really difficult games still to play this season. We've got to play Chelsea away. We've got to play Wolves away, Everton away and play Man City at home. They are massive games, really difficult games in prospect for Manchester United. And we've potentially, uh, it looks like we've left ourselves sixth in the league because Chelsea have a game in hand which we would presume that they would win. And really disappointed with that today. I think the team selection ended up not being right for Manchester United. But in hindsight, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer obviously thought he was picking the right team. And it just didn't go to plan for Manchester United. Really, really poor. We've obviously, we've let a stinking goal in for that first goal from Jack Hart. I just don't know what David Hare was doing there. It was a terrible mistake from him. He obviously holds his hands up that it was a mistake. But before that, Lukaku's missed a fantastic chance to put Manchester United 1-0 up. And his record in the big games has been awful for Manchester United, which is really disappointing for Manchester United. But he didn't have a bad game. He was probably one of Manchester United's better players, although he did miss some very good chances today, which was disappointing. I thought Rashford was below par today, but no, no, no problem with him starting. Rashford, obviously, with the limited options that Manchester United have on, on their substitutes bench, with the likes of Lingard, Marshall being out, who did come back today. And the likes of Mata and Herrera also being out. The midfield was so, so poor today. I thought Matic and Fred in there were not good enough today. And I did actually say in my preview, I would, I would stick with McTominay in there, to be honest, and ease Matic back into the team. But I, I, I had no problem with him bringing him straight back into the team when I saw the team sheet. And it turned out to be a mistake to me. I didn't think Fred had a good game or, or Matic, to be honest, in midfield. Paul Pogba also, it wasn't good in midfield at all. And we did look threatening going forward with Lukaku, but obviously missing some good chances today really cost Manchester United dearly. So if he could have taken one of them chances when it was 1-0, we would have had a chance in this game, but not to be for Manchester United. Really, really poor. That second half, maybe it was a dubious penalty, maybe it shouldn't have been given, but we would have lost this game anyway, so you can't blame that penalty. Not good enough going forward. We brought Martial on after the second goal's gone in, which has been disappointing because the game's got done and dusted when we brought Martial on and then bringing Greenwood on the last 10-15 minutes. I mean, it's great experience for that. He had a few touches of the ball, I, believe, I think, and one little run, which was good to see because he didn't have any any game, any time on the ball when he came on against PSG, I don't think. I think he challenged for a few headers in that game, but didn't get no touches of the ball. In this game, he did have a few touches of the ball, so that should give him a great experience, but it was too little, too late then. I would personally made some substitutions when it was when it was 1-0. The midfield was, was just so, so poor. And I thought it was a strange substitution to bring Dallo off for Martial, but that was the that was the choice. I would have I think Rashford was pretty poor, and I thought I think Fred was pretty poor as well. I'd have changed something up in the midfield, but it wasn't to be. We've got beaten today, and we're just gonna have to move on and hope hope for the best now. But it is the only, the only saving grace this weekend is only Chelsea, other than Arsenal, have gained points on Manchester United and gained an extra point on us. Which that is still disappointing, but at least Tottenham are on the same, got the same points this weekend as Manchester United, so we haven't lost too much there. But really disappointing because that that could be a real nail in the coffin for Manchester United in their chase for the top four places this season. Because let's be realistic, we're not going to win that Champions League. So to be back in it again next season, we are going to have to get in that top four. And the only thing is that two, the other two teams, Tottenham and Chelsea, aren't performing too well themselves. So. That is the only good thing for Manchester United. Tottenham have got to go to Liverpool and Man City yet, which could be six points down the toilet there. And we do have to play Chelsea, but we're going to have to probably win away at Chelsea now, or at least away at Wolves or Everton or one of them sort of hard places to go and win if we are to make that top four now. Because going away to Everton, although Everton haven't been great this season, it's always a tricky place to go. And Wolves, as we've seen today with Chelsea, is it going to be a tough game for Manchester United. So... We've left ourselves right up against it now to make that top four. 
we're just going to have to move on from this game and hope that things can improve and get back into things. We've got a, couple, a few weeks now before we next play in the Premier League. I think it's Watford at home or something. So we're going to have to beat them in order to, to try and climb back up the table into that top four again. It's so tight at the top four. We can't afford to drop any more points in the running. But we've got a game against Wolves in the FA Cup coming up. And then after that, I believe it's the international break. So it is a shame we go now a few weeks without playing in the Premier League. And we're now down to fourth in the Premier League, which is real kick in the nuts for Manchester United. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.